answer your call at this time. Please call us back later or leave a voicemail message and an officer will call you back as soon as possible. Please clearly state your name, contact number, and reason for your call. If you prefer to email us instead, you can write to us at contact at austrack.gov.au. You may also find the information you are looking for on our website at www.austrack.gov.au. Hi, it's John Wanau here, President of the uh, United Tribes of Confederation of New Zealand, and uh, I want to speak to you there about a criminal case, um, laundered money case, the biggest case in the world at the moment, and I've disclosed everything on our court hearings online, and all the information is there for you. He's taken 17 trillion US dollars of a claim from here, the lease land, of 201 years that I put together over 50 years and he's claimed it was a Freemason and a, a barrister from New Zealand went to Singapore, washed the money up and took it to Australia and spent it on 303 um, shell companies that's registered there and that was done in a short space of time and I, I'm, I'm waiting for the tax department to call me back, AGO, but I haven't heard back from them yet. So I thought I'd ring you up to follow up on it. Call me back, and one, um, one plus six one, um, two one, oh seven eight two five two three. So that's plus six four, plus six four, um, oh two one, plus six four, two one, oh seven eight two five two three. John, one hour, and uh, I've sent you a. Um, um, a short message in your website and to alert you on the scam that's going on with the uh, crim criminal proceeds of crime and uh, I've, I've done the cases for it in our um, high court here and, uh, and it's all there, the information's all there and I need that to stay in Australia and go and check the company out to see um, how he got the money and where he got it from and whether his name is on the contract. Okay, thank you. <coughs> so they cut off. I'll go quite a thing away. So there, yeah, I've called Brendan um, Thomas. He's the CEO for the Australian company, the government company, the uh, um, farms. Um, serious Financial Crimes Task Force and Brendan is of the ACIC Board of Criminal Justice and Law um, Austrac CEO Brendan Thomas and uh, five years he's been appointed on the 29th of January 2024 and uh, it's money laundering anti money laundering I should have put my, my, my phone on, uh, my um, uh, microphone on, I forgot all about it, but uh, I was just getting a bit tired from the gym. And uh, anyway, rung there, that was my memo for our crew today, we meet at 5 o'clock, and it looks like it's a bit too late to go to the swimming pool. I was going to go and have a swim, because I spent two and a half hours in the gym. 23, I don't feel like going back. Yeah, a bit tired from the workout, big workout. Uh, so, we've got that on the go. I've got to ring uh, uh, two Kentucky, two Kentucky um, money laundering debt collectors in Singapore, and I'll get on to them right now. I've left that note there for Brendan to call me as soon as possible and said that. Uh, Eddie Mitchell has stolen um, my identity and my company registered in New Zealand as criminal. This is a case that they, they're trying to clamp down on these people that are greedy for money and go and steal anything. And that's Eddie Mitchell. He's uh, um, um, what those um, convicts, prison convicts from New South Wales that came across to New Zealand and his ancestors did the same thing the Eddie Mitchell before him did the same thing with to the Moriori Manukau and uh, stole their land as well and now he's stolen my 
the company and all its uh, 50 years of research into whose land is this, the native land, and I'm going to seize all these land in New Zealand and all the expensive properties he's got and seize the whole lot. I told, I told him in an affidavit on the, online that I'm going to take the whole lot back to the people of New Zealand, the native-born people of New Zealand and 257 countries in the world, all their natives as well. So I'm going to hedge the 17 trillion, leave it in Australia, take over the companies over there, and then put 17 trillion into Papua New Guinea, and then 17 trillion into Philippines, and get that going, and with the tidal turbine bridges. I'm going to spend the money on the tidal turbine bridges and nothing else. That's it, I'm going to go there because I got kicked it off from my land in New Zealand and I didn't like to go back there because of the memories that I've got screwed all these years by the Kohede family and all those colliers and everybody that's on my land and stopped me from going back on it. So it's bon voyage and on my way. Yes, I've got to keep carrying on and doing what I'm doing somewhere else. Okay, I'm not, I'm not wanted down there. So I have to leave and, and go and help somebody else. That's poor. Okay, I'll go to Bougainville and those people with the thing through their nose like that, like that, and they'll get their spears and hop in the bus with the bars on a 40 foot container and chuck all the people that we don't want on native lands and chuck them back to the Pope. He's the sovereign of all those people in his New World Order and his World Economic Forum uh, and his uh, IMF. Uh, cryptocurrency, the Ripple Net cash, that's still a fake pyramid scam Ponzi game that's on spinning on the stock exchange and um, and his uh, World Bank with the director of the World Bank and the IMF, Rosie, um, um, Rosie Rizzo, Rios, um, she says she's got 1.8 trillion in the stock market there at the moment as the biggest shareholder and she said she's the richest woman in the world. No, it's Eddie Mitchell in Australia that's got 17 trillion dollars US of mine. I'm the one that owns this information that I gave him in the three stick sheet. He's put numbers on it there, two and a three and a one, a two. JW, he's put JW on it, look. JW on it, and he's, he put this on JW on there before he gave it to the Freemason in New Zealand and the barrister to take to um, Edinburgh Magistrate Court and the Freemasons to check the title. But that one hasn't got any name on it. I think it's another one. This is another one that might be the one. Or I, think it's the, I think it's the one, but the numbers come off it. Those three sticks, I can tell you right now, these three sticks are worth 17 trillion US dollars. These here belong to me. I purchased these, put all my information of 50 years in there, of the title to the Moriori, Manukau, Wanoa, Rogan, Cosgrove title to Britain, UK. Crown and us, the partners with our Confederation of the United Tribes flag of King William IV, and we've got a Dutch contract to New Zealand, it's Dutch, this country, and Easter Island is Dutch, down first, and um, it's uh, our contract with King William III, Dutch man, and his War Powers Act to shove anybody out of the road, out, out of our business road, and we can get contract armies to go and kick them off our native lands, right through the world in 257 countries that are affected by all the spray in the skies, the polluted water, the polluted food, the polluted language, the polluted churches, the polluted everything, the polluted Pope, the polluted Queen, the polluted Charlie Queen King and the polluted Muslims that are sitting on my Church of England 
Bishop Carr from here in New Zealand and Reverend Wano of the Church of England, St. Mary's, where the birth certificates were put together in 1830 on our marae, Rahui marae in Tiki Tiki, and the St. Mary's Church in Tiki Tiki, where I come from in my Wano marae and the graveyard there with all the Wanoas in there, and to straight to Tahiti and Rapanui, um, um, Easter Island, Dutch. So that's my title of the Moai standing in London, stolen. Everything under the Vatican and in the museum in London and around the world under the British Crown the UK is stolen. Memorials, stolen treasures, stolen culture, stolen everything, the pyramids, the capstone on the top of the pyramid and all the valuables in the pyramids and the Tesla technology inside that that pyramid and all the techno higher intellect doesn't belong to a white British Pakia white pig white ghost that's what it's called in Maori white ghost white pig and a white maggot faggot okay so that's what you are when you come on our land and they do the haka in front of you the natives over here do a haka in front of you now they want you off our land take all your just send the Dern and the Dern family, boot them out of here in New Zealand and boot you out of Westminster because we own the British Crown and not you. We've got the flag of corporations, the Municipal Corporations Act 1835 flag that you call in here in New Zealand government a declaration of independence. It's a bloody contract, you stupid fool bastards. It's our contract, British flag with a black line cross around the little red cross to keep you snakes out. And that's what that woman said. That that woman that woman said this is a snake. That woman uh, living at the back of Parliament. That one. That one that said the Constitution called it all. Trying to make a constitution again? What's wrong in your nineteen eighty six constitution that Australia pinched? And they pinched our 1993 Tutuia Whenua Act over there as their native act, and they can't prove where they got their native act from. It came from here, and they were there for Monica, Moriori, and his 11th of November 1862 Native Land Act. That's where the Native Land Act comes from, and that fucking bloody Ratna Church pinched it and got paid to give the government here the consent to use our Moriori land native title. <coughs> and they got no continuity of sovereignty to King William the Third of Orange. Battle of the Boyne kicked the fucking ass of the Catholic Church off Saint King James off the throne and put himself there and then the Parliament changed the rules and took out King Ernest Augustus I, the brother of King William the Fourth, supposed to be the next king and legislated him off the crown throne as he's supposed to be the next successor to the throne and they legislated him through an act of parliament. Everything that's fraudulent has been an act of parliament, not law, act of parliament. I'm sitting on the law in these books over here with the native title and we're going to boot you off the land and I'm getting 600 buses out of the 17 trillion that we hedge that into another 17 trillion on each country, 257 countries in the world, and put the bill back to you, thug, pirates, aliens, invaders, war mongering, war fire starters, and bank war Rothschild. Boot him off the land because he never got a consent, a royal assent from King William the Third Dutchman for his one bar pound note. The king only gave the Patterson family two bars on their pound note and the King Tafio from Waikato here a two bar pound note and the the BNZ Bank got a two bar pound note in New Zealand here before they changed it and devalued the pound note down a third of a value of what we've missed out on. All that money of accounting for, all that money missing, the gold missing, 
the land missing, the children missing, all the carvings missing, all the stolen property missing, especially the Maui statue. That's worth trillions. It's worth trillions of this information in these three sticks. You see this in my hand? That's three trillion US dollars. I'm going to hedge this on each of 257 countries get the same 17 trillion as fixing it all up and putting 600 buses, double deckers in there with the private army. Not an Air Force or a Navy. They're going to buy the ships and the fast planes to fly up around the country every day to keep you bastards out in the sea. You all come from the sea through King William III's Admiralty Maritime Law onto the land and his Bank of England Act to make money and his, his 1694 Pound Note Act and the Pound Note of Rothschilds didn't go through him to get the royal assent. It slipped past. So it was illegitimate. Pound Note went to an illegitimate US dollar with a capstone on the top of the pyramid, stolen property. Okay? Stolen property and stolen memorials and stolen name. Okay? And even stolen the dwarf planet, brown dwarf planet of Makemake. Stole that too from us. It was already discovered and they're researching something already researched. And dug our out of the ground. He's buried right up to here and he's bodies under the ground, right up to his neck, to claim the earth planet, you stupid bastards, and see it as a flat earth, like, like your earth looks like a two bob, like this. Your earth is like that, like this. How, 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 how do you make a magnet out of that? How do you, how do you make the sea go along that? You fucking stupid brains, you bloody, bloody um, rabbis. Calling this a flat earth, you mongrel, chuck you off the bloody thing. It's fucking round, you useless bastards. You can't go in a straight flat line because pilots like me have to make a curved flight path. You can't go straight, you'll end up way the fuck out in the hole, hole right off the planet. Bloody useless bastards. Yep, they're, they're, that's you. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. You're dead at sea. I'm bloody live with this video. It's an affidavit. Every video is an affidavit of truth. L-O-R-E, Law of Moai, statue you stole. You can't tell the truth. You steal. You know what happens when you steal in, a, in your court, your high court? You've got to give it back and get locked up and pay it all back. What you steal, you've got to return. What's stolen, returns. And that's our law. That's our law. What's stolen, returns. And Palestine stolen through admiralty abuse of our law uh, and, and usurping our law and copycatting our law and our God and our Jesus, black Jesus and the Bible, screwed the Bible and changed it all. The Greeks did that. The Greeks altered the Bible and put it into a white Jesus, a white man and then the Pope come along and said no more, no more Jesus, no more Christ, bang. And put his filthy, dirty, bloody plan in there. No, you can take your dirty fucking chemtrails, your dirty fucking needle, and stick it up your ass, because that's what we're going to do to you. When we come to Parliament, we're going to stick it in you. We've got a bus, and it's caravan behind with a needle, with the same stuff in it, okay? With the same stuff in it that you killed us with, our people. Killed a lot of people with it. That bloody, that bloody stuff, what do you call it? That bloody dangerous stuff. I wrote the bloody thing down somewhere and put it somewhere. There's a name for it. There's a name for it. Over here somewhere. <coughs> where is it? Where is it? Gosh, where is it? No, I put it somewhere. Leave him. Oh, not leave him. Not leave him. It's that other bloody stuff, that other dangerous stuff that changes your DNA. <clears throat> bad people, real bad to alter our 
Whakapapa, alter our history, alter, alter the natives of New Zealand's history, and put your fucking bloody up like this. Anybody who put their fingers up like this, fucking get the fucking hanging chain. That's in our court. You get a hanging chain if you do that. If you do that, that's rabbi. That's rabbi. That's the ones that are indoctrinating all our young people where they're going mad. They're going mad and fucking getting money put in front of them and dirty fucking woman, man, woman, man. Changing, going in the same changing room. You get, you go in our changing room like that, you'll get fucking knocked out. <coughs> Where's that bloody worm? I put it somewhere. I put the bloody thing somewhere. Where did I put it? Anyway, that's that stuff they put into the face mask. It's laced with it. And those, those test things, they put down your thing, down here, goes to your penal gland. That bloody, that bloody grey stuff. That bloody poison stuff. Where's the hang that I write it? Gosh, I, I thought I wrote it down. I wrote the bloody thing down on here. Hot spot. Hot spot. I put the bloody thing down. I should have put it somewhere. I'll try and find it. I should have that word there, right, in, right up in front of me. That stuff they put in those masks, face masks, it's laced with it to change your DNA. And they say, it's safe. No, nope, we'll try it out on you bloody bastards. We're gonna, we're, you're going to get it. We go drive up to the parliament with fucking 600 fucking army, private army. They got guns. They got their armed everything for our business, for King William the Second, the Third's business and the Maui Crown business. That's got more going for it with our flag of kings, emperors, and also our Maui statue of the whole fucking world. Owns the whole fucking world and not the Pope, the stupid bald head Pope, murderer and dirty fucking dirty habits. Dirty, stinking habits. Church of what? It's the bloody name of that damn stuff. I got it somewhere. Put it somewhere. Not lithium. It's another blooming name. That other blooming stuff. Where the hell is it? Put it somewhere. I should have had it with me. Damn it. That's the worst thing I ever do is not carry it around. Not here. Is it here? What's the name of that bloody stuff that's got in the poison that's putting into your bloody DNA? Putting it into your DNA. Australian tax office. Where's the bloody name of this? Bastard. Not there. I've got the things I've written down somewhere. Memo. Bobo. Reporting. Police. I put it, I wrote it down somewhere. I wrote it down somewhere. I'll come across it yet. I'll come across it yet. Soon, soon, ATM. Tuki Taki. I've got to ring Tuki Taki afterwards. In, um, in uh, Singapore. Dead collectors. Go after him. Eddie Mitchell. Mitchell Family Trust. Go after him. Hang the bastard. Put him in fucking jail. Deal to him. Yep, it's a fucking good idea from Babos in Australia. That's greedy, that's all. That video I put up of the, the, these fellas that I'm calling, that's, that they said they're greedy people, like Eddie Mitchell, greedy, and the Freemason and the barrister, greedy.
they did, didn't want to talk to me, that bloody army fella and the Freemason and the barrister. They didn't want to talk to me. They, we went out to out to um, out, out to Tartwell, and they were in a restaurant with a Chinese, and the place was cameras cameras to stop anybody interfering with their their, their surveillance. And anyway, the fucking police will go in there, clean them out, flush them out. Flush them all out, they're going to go in prison. Those people in the restaurant are going to go in prison. All of them, because they're linked to the fraud scam. Okay, they're linked to the fraud scam. You're not going to get away with it. You're not getting away with it, Edie. Mitchell and Alfred Mitchell. You're not getting away with it. You bastards. Where's this fucking stuff? Where's this stuff? Oh, oh look, I'm lying. What's in the vaccine? I'll just put what's in the vaccine and it'll tell me. What's in the vaccine? Right? Right, where's the, where's the, where's the Google? Google? What's the poison? Right, hang on. Go, so I'm going to look for the bloody thing. Where's the bloody Google? What's the poison? What's the poison? The poison. Poison. In the face mask. Mask. Right. <coughs> Source of printable exposure for human. What was the test mask made of? Disposal marks smell like chemicals. These chemicals include Humidile, Doxin, or Airline. Where's that other fucking name? Shit! I should have write it all over the place afterwards. What happens if I face mask smell bad? Coronavirus deadly mask claims debunked. Mask coronavirus has been now compulsory for customers. Masks deprive your body of oxygen. Yes, they do. You can't breathe properly with the bastards. And you're breathing this fucking stuff that alters your DNA. Where's this fucking thing? Mask can cause carbon dioxide poisoning. Yep, that's what it does. You're breathing the fucking own carbon dioxide. Stupid bloody thing. Can I call you tonight? No. Can I? What's what? Bad toxin is in. Covered mask. Mask. And then it'll tell me. Google will tell me. <coughs> what is mask? Why do disposal smell like chemicals? Face mask should you be concerned. Covered mask may expose users to harmful, chemi harmful chemicals. Covered mask may expose uses to harmful chemicals. Gosh, I should have had the bloody thing. Where's this fucking name? Chemtrail, chemi, chemical, COVID, prolong, The harmful caused by mass. Must don't expose where. I'll just go to <coughs> Facebook or whatever. Somebody will be writing about it. I should have got that out of Facebook before I went on and started filming. But I'll have a look. Someone will be calling about it. You watch. What's in the face mask? What's Graphene, that's it. 
Fucking graphene. Bloody graphene. Where's the fucking pain? Graphene. That's the fucking stuff. I just put it in my brain and boom. Graphene. I'll stick it on my bloody diary. Graphene. That's the fucking poison. Graphene. They stick it on the test tank to test if you got COVID and it goes right down into your into your penal gland. Penal pineal pineal gland. That's the word I wanted. Pineal gland and graphene. When you got your face mask, it's got graphene in it. And that's what you're breathing. Graphene and your own carbon dioxide poison. When you breathe backwards and forwards with the same breath and all your fumes are coming out and you're breathing the fucking thing, you stupid bastards. Penal gland. On your gland. Yeah, I've got it there. In my diary. Stick it all over the place. And we'll get another paper and stick it on the wall. And equal pages, blanks, so I can fill them in. So I've, I've, I've rang, I've, I've left a note with Brendan, Thomas, Penal Glen, August 5th, August 2024, Monday. Pineal Glen is poison is poisoned. We're gonna chuck this fucking thing into their body throat and when, when when we put them and test them because we will have a bus that's a doctor nurses in the one double decker bus. It'll have all the facilities there for jabbing, all the facilities for the same bloody stuff that we're gonna stick in them and see if it works. And graphene. This bloody graphene injection. Inject to change DNA. DNA? So you forget who you are. You forget who you are. Who you are. That's what they've done with Maori. Chuck them away so they forget who they are. Yep, that's what they did it for, the fucker papa. They changed the fucker papa like that fucking coherent is, change the fucking papa, put a bodgy man there, then fucking fuse themselves in us as fucking rabbi, fucking rabbis, okay? And not a fucking name, it's a fucking J.P. Morgan family. It's a Morgan family, just like Tuku Morgan from Tainui. Fucking Morgan. Morgan and fucking Smith at, at, um, what Matakao point, that bastard that fucking ground me, then I'll boot him off the land first, him and those people on Rotten Point Motel. I'll kick the bastard off, because that's my gravesite there. My ancestors are there. Okay? Ta Wanoa. Ancestor. Wanoa. I think I've more claim to the land than you woods and you fucking crossings that fucking got on my way down there. And you're going to get it. Ray White's is going to get fucking bankrupted. And Bailey's real estate going to get bankrupted. I'm going to take all your real estate off you. going to kick it. Because I told you, I warned you, I'll take your company down because you got the letter from me, the Rick Warren, and mortgage Leon. Your mortgage, way back when you sold that land in 2008 and 2010, and you sold it when I said, no, don't sell it, you haven't got the title. I've got it, the Monaco Moriori title. And now it's coming to burn your fucking ass. So there, yeah, that's that. So I can end this video now and get on with the next phone call to Tukitaki debt collectors in Singapore. They're, they're the Scarly Bank, the most safest money transfer bank in the world. They were tag pay when I was using them in our business. Tag pay, Moai Bank, right back 2004. I started with Facebook 2008. They fucking destroyed two years of all my hardware in 2008 to 2010. Destroyed the whole bloody thing. Now they're ripping my videos on YouTube out and saying it goes against your standards. Those videos have been there for a fucking long you few years, you useless bastard Israels. You bastards. Fucking fact checkers for what? 
black chickens are fucking nothing. You haven't got the title to your land, you're going to lose it. Because if you haven't got the native title I've got here, of King William III of Orange, fucking Protestant, you'll be booted out of Palestine. And the Palestinians can go back on their land you fucking blew up the bitch. And destroyed all their memorials. The fucking year-long stuff. Years and years and years of memorials. You blew the blasters up. You fucking useless mongrels. War bank mongrels. That you should. The King's Martial Law and the King's War Powers Act. 1689. War Powers Act. We're going to put the War Powers Act on you and contract somebody to go and kick you off. Kick you off the land, you fucking mitten, you, Yahoo, you bloody rabbis, are going to get kicked off the native land because you don't come from here. You don't come from all those land you fucking stole. And so those natives want their land back. They'll get 17 trillion against your name. You debtors, you all made money on people's debt. You put the debt on the head and made them pay and screwed them. All the native born people on the land in the world. They're all sovereign people. And you used their sovereign and bought Amazon, bought the Ancestry.com DNAs, and you claim them as your sovereign. Bloody bastard. We got a trillion pound on each one's head. Six billion people in the world that got a trillion pound credit on the head. And that's their ownership of a native title. You just have to conform to these High Court rules that I've got against your High Court rules. I said, where the hell do you get those from? Hmm? King William III Dutchman? He didn't touch any memorials, wasn't fucking a thief. You people from the Prison Congress in Australia, Mitchells, the fucking Tamahiri Thompsons, and the fucking Smiths, and the Jacksons, all fucking in the Parliament in Wellington. They're going to get locked up, chained to the fucking container inside them, and one seat to sit on, just enough room to wiggle between each other, and fucking one toilet, and one window, and one fucking door, and that's locked. You get your food, food thrown in like pigs, thrown in through the window, and you can scrap over it. Yep, you fucking dirty bastards. You're going to get what you deserve. What goes around, comes around. Karma comes fucking swift in the native magistrate King's Bench Court. And the people who've had enough with you, and even bricks have had enough with you, but they're in the scam as well. They're spraying the skies as well. You're all in the club, the millionaires, millionaires club. And so we're going to play that game. It's taken me one fucking month to learn crypto. Back to fun. And now I'm going to use it on you. I'm going to use everything, mirror it on you, like you mirrored it on us. I'm mirroring everything against you, and you're going to have to pay the fucking debt because you defaulted on our contract with Queen Victoria and Queen Elizabeth ran away. Jacinda Dern ran away. They fucking all ran away. All of you people got a bad habit of blowing things up and then running away and leaving it to someone else and say it's not our fault. You fucking bastards. Took a little island. They got fucking minced up by Ross <coughs> and, and and the father of Jacinda Dern, and she fucking set it all up with her rabbis. The fucking rabbis. Welsh speaking Welsh. There's not many that speak English. They're Welsh. That are the rabbis. See, that's how I know. I've no, fucking done all my research. And the Spaniards, the red-haired Spaniards, they are fucking Paniurus, they are rabbis as well. The Latter-day Saints is a rabbi. All those Latter-day Saints, church, fucking hell. You see what the natives going to do? Burn the whole fucking lockdown, mate. Because churches are bad. They're fucking bad. They're bad. Look at the Pope's Catholic Church. It's bad. Look what it's doing. Killing people in the world. Killing them. Outright murder. Fucking straight murder. The Latter-day Saints is straight murder. Just send her down and uh, <clears throat> it's going to go straight in there. She'll go in that bus, in the front of the doctors, and they'll go boom. One, two, three. Right? First shot, 
second shot, boost up, and all the fucking rest of it to see what happens to her eyes and her body. Crinkles and falls down to the ground. Oh well, just leave it in the container and chuck it in the sea. But let it float around. Let anything bang into it. Yep, leave a little hole in the top, seal it up, and just let it float. It'll float somewhere else. Yep. Might sink somewhere, but too bad. You came from the sea, just in the den, you're going back in the sea with all your fucking family and all the Mitchell family. You're going in the container too, all of you. I don't care because you don't care about me. And the money, 17 trillion. Here, and there's three fucking sticks. There's three sticks. 17 trillion. You don't care about me and fucking spent it on your fucking greedy fucking bastards. I mean, listen to that video I put up of the Australian Crimes Task Force. They're coming after you because I'm ordering them to do so. And that's what they're doing. They're looking for you bastards that fucking screwed everybody for greed. Greed, greedy bastards. Greedy. That's all you are. You're greedy. You're going to pay for it. All you Mitchell family is going to pay for it because Alfred Mitchell said, Tira Waikato Wharehere Here Manukau, the Moriori, is a woman, you fucking little bastard. You're going to go fucking in the container to chain the bloody chain to your leg. And you can't move. Yep. You're going to somehow um, put the container right in the middle of the street with one window so people can come and chuck rubbish inside for you to eat. Like pigs. Right? White fucking maggots. Your name stinks. Alfred Mitchell and Eddie Mitchell, your name stinks. I don't like it on this bloody land. I've been here with my one laws for fucking years, mate. They are the original sovereign natives. <coughs> The fucking Rogan judges married our family, and the fucking Cosgrove judge, the uh, lawyers, and Governor General of Australia married my fucking family, mate. Not your fucking Mitchells. They're fucking queer prison convicts chucked out of England. Chucked out of fucking England. Useless pricks. Now, now you're running a fucking parliament. That parliament is fucking just like you, greedy little bastards with the crypto. Everybody with a crypto, including that Michael Saylor, is fucking in the same boat as Alfred Mitchell and Eddie Mitchell. The Mitchells are the biggest fucking corporate white-collar crime in the world. And when he goes down, you all go down. You fucking all going down. Because you're going to go and follow him, house of cards, down you go. Rome burns. Westminster burns. Chuck the whole thing. Bang. Out. Turn it into a fucking homeless place for people to go and live in there. And... It's useless, burn the fucking thing down. It's fucking stinks. It's fucking rotten. It's fucking rotten. The Chinese wouldn't even go in there because they like brand new stuff. <coughs> Not fucking old stuff that's been stolen. All stolen. It doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't. I thought Britain was very good, but it's fucking bad. The church came down here to soften everybody. Then they put a gun, bang! shot this in the, in the head and said, listen to us. You're doing the same thing with this fucking crypto. You're doing the same fucking thing again to me. You hadn't had enough. You want some more. You're fucking not going to get it. No. The people are going to revolt against you. Just like how Jack Liam said. He's a, a, he's a Catholic and a Protestant. He didn't say he's a clean-cut Protestant. So he's on his way. That way he's on both sides. And because he's a Catholic, he's supporting the Pope and his crimes of sovereign cryptocurrency. Everybody's a crypto is a corporation. They made you corporate, made everybody corporate with capital letters. All fucking deceiving fucking English language. You fucking bastards deceived everybody with square printing. And made us fucking be beneficiaries while you're the trustee of our trust and our fucking worth value of a million bucks each birth certificate. Now we've got a trillion on top of your fucking million and squat you out of bloody existence. Liquidate you and foreclose on you and bankrupt you out of business. Off the fucking land. Go back to Rome so we can fucking burn the whole fucking place down. Over there. All the natives that you stole from their land, their resources, and Africa got their country back. Thank goodness they kicked you out of the fucking place. Kicked you out. Africa got their country back and their minerals. 
and the wealth and everything there. That's what's going to happen here. The same thing with Russia and China and <coughs> Brazil and India to support us and come and protect us with their military and we just hire them, young people, 18 years to 40 years and put them in the bus and give them a better life, okay, to come and look after our business. We need somebody to replace you useless fucking British Royal Navy. It's gone. You ran away and left us to take over Britain because you defaulted. You defaulted our marriage with the King William's crown, legal inheritance, and put your Queen there with the Rothschilds and screwed it up for your own interests, your own bloody greedy interests. You bloody churches <coughs> and screwed our Church of England up. Threw it away and put the fucking Muslims there. The Muslims have to go home. The Muslims have to go home. Everybody's going home. Because you know what I said? I'm running the fucking King's Bench Court. Right. Because you haven't got enough bloody guts with a native court there. There's nothing. The federal flag is here of the world. Not in America, not in Australia, not in fucking Rome, not in not in Britain, is here. Not even in Britain. The federal flag of kings of kings is here with us, the natives, to lead all the natives in the world and shut you down with that flag. That's the only king's flag in the world. This fucking government is sucking off it and picking up the least land red. It's not theirs. We're going to take it off them and kick them out of Parliament. Don't need them anymore. That's what I say to all the people that went down there and Greg Cook, go and rescue our, our people's native land, Greg, and your Cook family that acknowledged King William IV had the title and he discovered New Zealand before those fucking turkeys and that Japanese fucking bitch in Wellington got a crown on her head and a false flag up as the flag of New Zealand, gets rid of it, and their fucking parliament wait for our Maui East State AI Federal Republic Government of Altair, New Zealand. Yeah, that's the real one. The real law in these books I've got, and these three things. It's all in here. The value of these. 17 trillion. Stick that in your fucking head, you stupid marriage. Fucking all my time wasted. Talking to you mongrels won't listen. Yeah, you don't listen, so I'm going to fucking Papua New Guinea, and you fucking be last. End of the queue. Fucking end of the queue. Why? Because you fucking kicked me off the land on my own fucking land at the East Cape. You know who you are. I'm from, you're going to get the fucking bill and boot it off because those natives are going to boot you off the fucking land. Not me or my brother. He's on that side too. He's with the crown in Wellington. So he has to change his mind, make his mind up which way he's going to fucking go because the money I'm getting is going fucking the other way. It's not going down there. It's going the other way. It was for the New Zealanders, but you don't want me. You don't want any of it because you've got better idea. You want to get the little mini, little little bit of money, the little fake money, and the fake news and crown. That's fucking gonna give you nothing your own and be happy. You'll have no title, no land, because they're gonna take the whole fucking lot. If this United Nations army comes here, you've got nothing. I'm fucking warning you. You're gonna get nothing if I don't do anything about it and take our land back with native real people, the people that live on it, all those people. Indians, Chinese, Maoris, <coughs> <coughs> all sorts of people living on land that was born here. They're the natives I'm talking about, the live ones. <coughs> That's who I'm talking for and the money you're supposed to go to. You'll have to follow behind the other, other ones I want to go to. Philippines, those are the poor ones. They've got plenty of gold there, fucking hidden there by the crown, the fucking queen. Hid it all over the world. Hid the gold. Well, with crypto, you don't have to hide nothing. They just go boom, 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 all around the world. And the money and the gold is just sold as commodities. Right? They sell it as commodities because the crypto is worth more. So the Moai chip coin is going to fucking bust you. You watch. I fucking know what I'm doing, mate. I know everything. That's why I told um, <coughs> um, Ma Manoa. Ma Manoa. She's the Chinese girl. I mean, she's the French girl. They're going to teach me how to to do French because I need her for Scarlet Bank and transferring money and 
get it quick, learn it quick, and help me because I can't speak French, and she can't speak French to them. She said, oh, she'll help me with the French. So if she wants to be my secretary, that's it. That's it. We're off. Fly here, fly there, fly everywhere. And do the business on the way. Okay? Fucking best jet in the world. I'll fly the buggy myself. Right? I'll get a pilot and learn from him and get my hours back up again. Because we've got to get the hours up. <clears throat> and the fucking helicopter. I'll fly the whole bloody lot. Get my license like I passed my license and my medical for the car. Get that. And then I'm going to get the pilot license. Won't take me long. Fucking I know how to fly. Up and down, up and down. Crash land or whatever. I'm good at fucking flying an aircraft. That's nothing. Yep. And get there quicker than going on a car. It's too long. Hey, 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 buddy. Yep. So that's all. That's enough. I'm going to go now. I'm going to ring up the other one. Two, two, three, three. Get clear. Um, and Scarlet. The co contractor Scarlet are the best fucking experts at recovering debt. Okay? The Australian company can recover debt too. But I'll leave the money in Australia. Then borrow against that for Papua New Guinea. Because I've got the phones all set up, the business all set up for Papua New Guinea. And that's under Scarlet as well. So we just kick fucking Charles out of the way. Kick those government out of the way, the ones that went to Wellington. Kick the bastards out of the way. And if they go to Waitangi, I heard that. I've heard a bit about them go, going going up to Waitangi. Well, if they go up there, that's a good thing. Because I'm going to fucking put that fucking money into Bougainville and fucking make a bloody new nice place where people can go to and go right over the world. I'm just going one place to the other. And my kids in the Philippines, they'll be the next one, next one to go. And then fucking leave the worst ones for the last. I won't go to Ireland now because they're, 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 they're all up to hell, that fucking Rebecca Island is fucking got it all wrong. You know what, Rebecca, you call me like a fucking traitor and I've gone with the corporate. You, you're going to end up being a corporate whether you like it or not. The fucking crypto is there already. You're going to have to get crypto because there won't be any cash anymore. Only the Moai cash. You won't, you won't be getting any of it. You or Frank or anybody that's gone and changed your mind against me. You won't get any pound no cash. You can get your own fucking crypto. You stick with the Pope's crypto. Because all those Sinn Féin is rabbis. And, and the other fellow, the other fellow, Jerry Adams, they're the ones that kicked up the stink in Northern Ireland. You're the sister in Ireland that went and screwed our land over in New Zealand. Rebecca Island, you Irish came here from Ulster there to Ulster here. I'm sitting on Ulster over here. I've got more right to fucking Ireland than you have, bitch. Don't fucking talk to me like that. Don't call me down like you did and saying I'm one of them bloody corporates. I am a corporate business to fight a corporate. You can't, you little bitch. You don't know how they screwed you in your own fucking country, the ones that the British went after and King William the Third of Orange. I'm talking for him. You can't. You don't know fuck all about St. Patrick Church. You don't know anything about that. You wouldn't have a fucking clue. Shut your fucking mouth, Rebecca Ireland. Shut your fucking mouth. You and Daryl Payne in America. The American's mouth is too fucking big. They're going to get shot to bits by fucking everybody else. They're sick of you, muggle, bloody, playtime fucking Hollywood. Fucking bullshit. Just like Nancy May said, the, 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 the lawyer said to that fucking secret service woman, that, that, that Charlie or whatever her name is, she said, you, you, you're full of bullshit. See? Straight to her face. You're full of bullshit. Next man, she resigned. She resigned because the truth comes out. The truth is going to come out, Rebecca Island, and you're going to be sorry for it because you're going to suffer. You're going to suffer more than you are now by your own fucking ignorance. Your own ignorance. I'm saying that to you now on this video. You'll get to watch it. Someone will tell you. Sean Maguire will tell you. She, he, I know where he is. He's fucking glad to get out of Ireland because it's, I told him it's fucking poison. Ireland is fucking poison. Your brain and your penal gland is fucked, Rebecca Ireland. Your penal gland is fucked by your own fucking people. You bloody sex tourists over there, of the American Irish people over there, the, Ameri the 
Irish over here in New Zealand. Fuck you fellas. You came here to invade my land. I've got the Moa in London to fucking sink you because he's God's earth. Not you sitting there moaning away about you and what you think of what I think and what why I'm doing what I'm doing because I didn't take you on board. I took Paul Brown because I get on well with him and he's dead. You see, I stayed with them. I didn't stay with you. I stayed with Paul Brown because he's gentle and he's very good and understands what the flag means. Not you. You wrap the flag around you and not know the history of it. That's the real story. It's not about you and your family. It's not about you and your surname doesn't add up. Ireland doesn't add up. There's something wrong with your fucking head. Mental. You're all lunatic mental because the British and those rabbis made you stupid. Made you all stupid in England. Made you fight against yourselves and made the Irish fight the Irish. Made the Maoris fight the Maoris and Maoris fight the Pakistanis. Made everybody fight each other. Yep, well we're going to fucking kill them off with the law. Law versus law and put you out of business. Put you all out of business. Go back to nature and you can sit there and cry. Cry baby, cry. Sick of you. <clears throat> the last person I've got is a French. Well, whatever. She's nice to me, that's all that matters. I don't care who she is. But she's in the scarlet country, France, and that's all that matters to me. The clean shot, fucking debt free, fucking non polluted, non corrupted fucking bank. That bank, the Rothschilds couldn't get near it because it's too fucking clean. The Scarly Take Pay Bank is too clean. It's got a fucking spotless reputation. A spotless reputation. Pinto. Yep, Nicholas Pinto has got a spotless fucking background. Not like the fucking Rothschilds, the Queen and all the fucking dirty bastards. All fucking bloody corrupted to battery. Church and all. All the church. Waste the fucking church of England. Waste the fucking church. Come there, screwed England up and made England look like they're the victims. The, 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 the Israelis are the victims and the poor people that lived on the land before them are the fucking victims, the real victims. And same with England. The England's people are victims because all the fucking Muslim imports are there on their land. They get all the benefits from the fucking government in Westminster. Boot the bastards. Boot the bastards out. Okay, that's enough. You say about that. What are you going to do about that? Put me in the court? You'll lose. If you put me in the court again in New Zealand, you'll fucking lose. And it'll cost you more. So don't waste your time. Because you didn't do anything and subpoenaed me or, or gave me a summons to go to court in the dist Auckland District Court and rather said to me, oh, you're lucky to get off. And I don't remember things like that. I won't lose what I remember of that. Going to prison for fuck all, going to a mental home for fuck all, because you bastards fucking lost. Right? You pay for all the injections you did to me, for schizophrenia and all that fucking stuff, because I've known a lot. You said I've got schizophrenia. Well, look at it now. Here, does these look like schizophrenia? Does these three sticks with all the information about the whole fucking world and the title of the kings in here, does that fucking look like schizophrenia in there? Well, I'm putting it online to those police, to those, the, these fucking criminal people that they're going to go after Eddie Mitchell and the whole rest of you corporations, corporations and the vote. All of you. Your royal family with, with the Rothschilds, you're going to go fucking down with this lot. They had enough. Bullshit. Like Nancy May said. Bullshit. You're full of shit. That's what she said. You're full of shit. And that's in the court. A judge saying that in the court? She had to be cautioned by the Speaker of the House. Well, she couldn't get fucked because it was nine or sixteen days that they'd been waiting for an answer from that bloody that Secret Service is just protecting people like like Trump. He is the biggest thug 
of Freemason there wants the money and the real estate. Well, out he goes. Kick him off the land. Kick him off the land. Because he's a squat that's only got his golf course and his own wealth that he, wants, he got out of the Admiralty. And now it's our turn to use the Admiralty on all those thugs. Because that's ours with our flag. And put his flag out of business. Because it's not a real flag of Confederation. It's not a real federal flag given by a king. No, they made it out of the head. Just like these Maoris over here, and Cindy Kira made her flag out of the head against our flag. That's already this country's flag. Okay, that's the king gave that flag for ownership of the land. And to say that's the flag of New Zealand. Anyway, that's all. See you later. Bye. Today is Monday, 4th of August, 5th of August, 2024. Bye for now. It's now 4.30 and I've got time to ring um, Tukitaki in Singapore. That's Scarlet subsidiary company that's contract with Thunes ATM machines. The Thunes will put the pound note, two bar pound note, inside it as a currency that can be changed, exchanged with every other country in the world, and will take over the fucking IMF and boot them. The US dollar boot them and put the my powerhouse bank note and the chip coin to replace the crypto, take the crypto right out because it's dirty, and it's fraud, it's created from fraud, thin air money, and people stolen money and wealth, and stolen children, and all the filthy things they made the new crypto dollar out of. With the Pope at the head of it, with his head will probably go on the new US dollar and we're going to rip it the bastard up and burn the bloody thing in hell. He can burn in hell with his dirty fucking sovereignty. <coughs> He's stolen people's sovereignty without their consent. <coughs> and we're putting a trillion pound note as a credit birth certificate on every native, over 6 billion native people of the world out of 8 billion and 2 billion elite people and their families and all those people can go to hell and get them off the land with the 6 billion people native and give them a trillion credit on each one. Okay, that's how the chip coin works. It works from a, thousand, a trillion pounds up. The highest currency in the world is the water money currency, the hydrogen jet fuel and rocket fuel bulk in the tide. It's got to be built yet. Just wait for that. I'll just show you how powerful Moai is. Because it don't belong to the fucking thieves in bloody Church of England. It doesn't belong to the thief. Queen. And pinched out Mary's, St. Mary's Church. Pinched it. And the birth certificate. Pinched those two. Okay, no more. See ya. Bye.